trouble already here on their opening drive. This is third and nine. Jackson from the shotgun. Oh, an absolutely filthy jump. And he will have the Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. He's a talented runner, and that means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker. And his early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. And it is incomplete. Good positioning there, Gary Field to break that one up. Second and ten. Now Jackson. Uh. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage and he's going to be taken down. It's a loss of a yard, so they'll wind up crediting him with a sack, and it brings up third down. After that sack, it's third and long for Jackson and the Ravens. He'll drop to throw. Uh. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Lamar Jackson, such a threat with those legs, able to improvise and get the first. After the sack, you could understand it maybe be a little bit nervous back there, a little skittish. He looked awfully decisive when he took off the head. Very decisive and picked up that first down in the process. So again from the 39, this time from the other side of the field. Here's first and 10. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here. Second down. Held their spot and stacked him up. Off the play fake to Dobbins. Here's Jackson. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he's going to be taken down with another down as the stops made at the Texans 21. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons. On first and 10, it's Dallas. And they'll get to him just inside the 15. Even after the strong run you just saw, they're able to corral him quickly defensively. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. On second down, here's Jackson. Throw right side here, taken in by Bateman. And down inside the 10 here before he's out of bounds. Right around the seven. A beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner, and that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line. They've got something dialed up here. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. Very well because of that. They'll try again here from the seven on second and goal. They go back to the ground and Dobbins. And he'll fight forward maybe to the line of scrimmage, but that's all. It'll go as no gain on the play, and now they're looking at a third and goal. And ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Third down, they take a shot at the end zone. But it's incomplete. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. In terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens strike first at threes in. opening series. Running game was in sync. They were knocking on the doorstep, but ultimately Charles will have to settle for the field. Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. 
Tank Dell now to return it, taking it about the uh, one. Uh, and he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. So here are the Texans now with a fresh face at quarterback, the second overall pick from Ohio State, C.J. Stroud. In only two seasons, Stroud showed all he needed to at Ohio State. All-American, Heisman finalist, program records galore. He looked every bit like the number one overall pick. He went number two, but Houston is thrilled to have him. They run with the former uh, Buffalo uh, Bill, Devin Singletary. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. <laughs> Accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. Now Stroud. To the veteran, it's right the woods. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Give him 17 on the pick up there, and the Texans also get a new set of downs. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. From up near the 40 now after the big play to start, here's another first and 10. Stroud. Stroud going to be taken in here by Schultz. So the completion good for seven there. And that'll make it second down. Wearing off against a rookie quarterback. And especially if they have guys they can put together a game plan with that's going to confuse, disguise a lot of coverage, make this kid a little bit. Because in college, he's seen a lot of things. Let's, let's not get it wrong here. But at the same time, the NFL, you can do so much more because of the athletes you have, because of the football IQ. And don't forget, you're going to throw a couple extra rushers at him as well. See if he can handle the pressure when those guys come at him. On second down, it's strong. And this one is going to be off the mark. He shook his head right when he released that throw. He knew it was going to be a little off target. Yeah, the excitement got him on that one. Wasn't able to control the fact the receiver was open, and it would have been an easy throw. Now they face a third down and four after that incompletion on second down. A shotgun snap to Stroud. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Yeah, he's going to have a Texans first down as they marked a one or two pass the marker following the game of six. From there. So in Raven territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Here goes Stroud again. first-round sack, a scenario you certainly don't work on too often. Second and 24. The second down throw now from Stroud. Throw on the side complete. That's Schultz. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 240 range. Yeah, not, not super huge. Maybe not counting on the big line and playing with the top blocker that he used to have in the good old days. But you can flex him out. You can run wide receiver routes with him. You can make him a primary target. And that's how they the defense. And that is incomplete. Oh, he did everything but hold on to it. But a nice play defensively, and now it brings up fourth down. 